nafs and different kinds of sleep. If you go deeper into nafs, the lower emotions, the ego sense, the neurotic state of your mind, that all represents nafs, the neurotic state of mind. When you are guided by emotions, the more you are acquainted with it, there is a possibility of getting a 180 degree turn, tamba to happen, a conversion to begin, the process of repentance to start, or pratyahar to begin. These are the various terms used by different inner scientists. Patanjali, the Kashmiri Pandit, the scientist of the inner, uses the word pratyahar for 180 degree turn. You are going in a particular direction, you reached halfway, all of a sudden you realize that you are on the wrong track. You take about turn and you go in the other direction. That is pratyahar. Repentance is the word used by Jesus and Tamba is the word used by Sufis. There are three states of nafs. The three states of nafs refer to the people who are sleepy and their sleep is of a different kind. It is said that all men are asleep. Asleep is one who lives in his own state of dreams. It differs. No, all individuals are not asleep in the same way. Everyone is asleep, but there is a difference in sleep too, and the difference is significant. The first kind of sleep is called hostile. They are asleep in their rage, in their anger, in their hostility, hatred, in their violence, aggressiveness and ambition. This category of sleep is known as hostiles. You will see there are people who are always angry for It's not that they are angry for this or that but anger has become their very nature. It is very apparent. He is always angry about not anything in particular but everything. Anything that he sees, he is angry about. He is destructive. He wants to destroy everything. They become great revolutionaries. History has many such great revolutionaries, Mao, Stalin, Lenin. They want to destroy and they want to destroy the whole past. And in order to destroy the whole past, they have to give you a utopia. All utopias are like opiums. You have to tell them that you are going to change the society for a better state. That is why we are destroying it, otherwise nobody will support it. You have to create a dream and when you create the dream, people become infatuated with the dream, then you can destroy the existing patterns. That beautiful society never comes, it has never come and it is not going to come. That is why Buddhas never talk about utopias or society. No social revolution is going to happen. If a revolution has to happen, it has to happen within you. 
the moment you change a revolution is come in you your association can bring about a change in the other that is the only way a change is possible they are really interested in destruction the idea of creating a better society is just a strategy to de destroy the existing to destroy without any guilt the hostile people hostile kind of sleep is one extreme his anger is not particularly directed towards anything he is simply angry about everything now when you look at the people around you you tell them anything they cannot find anything good in anything that you tell them or they see around happening he has no object of anger everything and everybody seems to be inimical to him not only persons but things also look inimical towards him he is inimical that is why the whole existence looks inimical his basic attitude is negative sleep is very angry sleep one thing is good about him he is hot in his anger he is not cold he is really burning boiling and it is easy to change such a person easily than the other kind of people who are lukewarm he is hot fire is alive but in the wrong direction but the direction can be changed he has power if his direction is changed if his anger becomes a fuel for inner transformation he can become an awakened very easily this is not just a coincidence that all the great masters of india they come from warrior race chhatri brahmins have not produced as many enlightened ones as these warrior clans have done one would expect that brahman would be able to produce more enlightened ones because they are well very well versed people logically philosophically and in every way they are well versed they are good people but they have not produced many enlightened ones brahmans buddha was a warrior mahavir was a warrior the one of the masters of the tradition of mahavir neminath adinath they were all warriors the 24 enlightened ones of jain tradition they all came from warrior clan buddha ram krishna nanak they were all warriors they came from the warrior clan it is not accidental if the hostile person changes he can become a buddha very easily so this is the best kind of sleep the hostile sleep that is why the work of the master is try to create a situation a kind of meditations for instance who when you are continuing to do who it generates tremendous energy within you you are hammering your solar plexus you stand up and raising your hands and you are creating the sound of who this is a kind of a dynamic meditation 
catharsis is a dynamic meditation. Sometimes in order to help the seeker, silent meditation is not going to help in any way. The more heat or energy has to be generated, if there is no energy, how can that energy be transformed or direction be changed? So the when you are using the sound of who, the moment you create the sound of who, it hammers your solar plexus. Who. If you try and you will see that it hammers your solar plexus, with that a heat is generated. When you enter into a meditation which is very active, I have created certain meditations for children. You go to gym, you are doing a great workout, but if you use that as a meditation, you are jogging, you are doing something, sweating, energy is created, but that has to be followed by a silence. You freeze. The moment you freeze, that energy gets transformed. Its direction changes. You are running or jogging. All of a sudden you stop. Remember the energy cannot be destroyed, only its direction can be changed. This is why these kind of meditations becomes very important. A man is boiling deep within with anger or rage towards someone. If you ask him to sit down quietly and meditate over, he will not be able to do that. If you ask him to be aggressive and that aggressiveness has to be created as a meditation and then all of a sudden when he freezes the process of transformation begins. The second kind of sleep is of those people who are phonies. This is phonies. This is the other extreme. One extreme was hostile. The other extreme is phony. They are good people, always smiling. But their smile is false, pseudo, always deceptive. They are never true. Hostile is true. He shows his face, whatsoever it is, it is ugly, certainly ugly, but he shows it. The phony has an ugly face, but he has a mask over it. He never shows his real face. And in this category comes the politicians, the priests, they are all phony. They speak very sweet language, but they are never true. Brahmins could not produce so many enlightened people because they come in the category of phonies. They will speak very sweet. If a doctor speaks very sweet, he will not be able to do his job. He has to take out the thorn that is a stick in the flesh it will hurt, but he has to do that in such a way that the thorn comes out, it will pain. But that is the only way by doing a sweet talks or being false is not going to help. They are always trying to be sweet. This trick is to protect themselves. These are the people who are very repressed. They go on repressing all their hostility. The hostility remains within in the basement, hides in the unconscious, and on the surface they are 
very well behaved persons they are like the tranquil lake the moment you throw a stone the waves begin to arise you take a simple word and throw it at them you will see all their silence good mannerism is gone the hostile person is very simple you can always trust that he is an angry man remember never trust a person who is always smiling i have heard about the people who even smile in their sleep they are so phony that a smile has almost become a fixed state of affairs lips have become paralyzed in a smile they cannot do anything else a smile has become material and concrete it is not a thing that comes from the heart but it is a painted it is on the surface this kind of person is very orthodox the first kind of person is revolutionary the second kind of person is orthodox he always lives in the rules very obedient to society in whatsoever society he is in he is very obedient to it he does not bother about what he is obedient to he is simply obedient these people become very respectable naturally because they obey the society the rule the law they never do anything wrong they are always right the ego trip is for the right they ride on the right they are the righteous people always do the right thing naturally they get all kinds of respect and honor from the society they are respectable people this second kind of people is more difficult because the sleep has become more like a sweet dreams first kind is suffering from nightmares remember when you suffer from a nightmare there is every possibility for you to awake it always happens when you really go into a nightmare and when the nightmare becomes too much you are suddenly awake your sleep is broken nightmare itself automatically works against the sleep but when you are sleeping a sweet sleep you are seeing beautiful dreams of paradise then there is no problem the sleep can continue a sweet sleep defends sleep a nightmare is against the sleep so the second kind of sleep is of respectable people is the least religious in the world and naturally he is very cold and cannot afford to be hot these are the people if they come to a hanka a place they immediately escape there was a person who used to come to listen to these talks she always liked to listen to the talks but when she is asked to do certain meditations she says that she cannot do those meditations talks is one thing it will not help you to transform it can create a situation but then the technique has to be followed so that the process of transformation can begin 
this is the kind of person that is fool the third kind of sleep is most difficult one and it is called jumpies the hostile and the phonies and the jumpies these are the three types of sleep jumpy is just in the middle hostile is the one extreme and phony is the other extreme in between is jumpies who have a little bit of this and a little bit of the other he is neither hostile nor phony and just in the middle he is both he is dead he is neither hot nor cold he is almost like an impotent he has not taken any side he is afraid he is just hangs in the middle and cannot decide so he has decided to remain just a machine in the middle the people are dead they are walking talking like a corpse mechanical they only know life as a rut as a routine they are ritualistic jumbies become great saints the hostile can become revolutionaries criminals sinners the phonies are very respectable people gentlemen and ladies the phonies are all they get all the respect they are gentlemen and the ladies they become priests politicians they are powerful people and jumbies become the saints only they can only they can afford because they are dead they sit like dead statues it is said i have heard once a seeker came to a zen master rinzai and the seeker said i have been to other monasteries i have learned much now i have come to you the great master of this age this story is similar to hazrat imam zafar sadiq razi allah taala knows story which i have narrated many times in while speaking on the seven valleys of sufis he said that i had been to different monasteries and i have learned much now i came come to you the great master of the age renzai looked at the man he must have seen that he seemed to be a jumpy renzai said what have you learned just show me now this is a rare question he had been to the other masters other teachers other monasteries they never asked him to show me yes they asked questions that he answered perfectly well because he is well versed in knowledge for 30 years he had been in the profession of seeking so he knew all the great secrets to show it but to show it how do you show your philosophy he could not think of anything else so he just closed his eyes and sat in a buddha posture absolutely like a statue and renzai laughed hit him hard on his head and said you fool get out of here we have enough buddhas can't you see in the temple renzai used to live in a temple that was known as temple of 10000 buddhas or 10000 buddha temple there were 10000 statues he said look we have 10000 fools like you marble statues 
we do not need any more get out simply do not show your face again what the priest will do he will find this person very useful in his fold and he will allow and give him my status and things like these jambis can become great saints they are dead life has shrunk in them it is not that they have become desireless no they are not a real sage is the one who has no desire and absolute life the false saint is the one who has killed his life because that is simplest way to kill his desires he is dead these are the three types of sleepy people these are the three types of nafs you can move into these categories you have to watch yourself if you are always an angry person or you have to analyze yourself which category do you come into if you are always an angry man you realize your reality the who can begin if you are of the second category the phony the who can begin if you are in the third category of jumbies the work can begin now the beautiful dialogue between the sufi mystic sima and the noble man named mulaqab it is most of the sufi parables are preserved as oral transmission as a dialogue as a dialogue between the sheikh and the seeker and these come in the category often staged as staged by the wandering dervishes they are moving from place to place all of a sudden a seeker comes in asks a question and they respond to it it comes in that category mulaqab asked tell me something of your philosophy so that i can understand it looks like a relevant question but you do not expect a master had simav was an ordinary priest he would have appreciated that question but a master cannot appreciate a question like this because it is not going to help tell me something of your philosophy so that i may understand as if by telling something one can understand we believe so much in words as if words itself is the truth as if the letter is the spirit it is not we have been brought up upon words all that we know is words so naturally the seeker comes to the master the mystic the sheikh sima and asks tell me something of your philosophy sufism has no philosophy sufism cannot be told you can live live it it can be experienced but it cannot be told and it is not that sufis have not tried to tell it they have to try to tell it but it goes on slipping that is why the each sheikh does it no word has ever done justice to the truth all words falsify sufis 
must agree with Lao Tse when he says the Tao that can be said is no more Tao. The truth cannot be uttered. Anything that is uttered becomes an absolute lie. The word water is not water. The word God is not God. You will have no experience of these words. You have to experience these words what Sufi is. You have to experience the word water on your own. Only then you know it. And this is the way the work of the Master continues.